Hi, I'm Vanessa Vargas, and I am a collage mixed media artist, born and raised in the LA area, Montebello, California, currently residing in Whittier. What I would like for people to get out of my work the most is for those to inspire those especially that don't think that they're creative or artistic, that they can easily pick up a magazine, a newspaper, a book, and cut it up to create something, just as long as they allow themselves the time and space and shut the ego off in order to just play. So, these two pieces are from a series that I created back in 2015 and I had started collaging a little bit more seriously about eight years ago and was upcycling anything that I could get my hands on from canvases to throwing away wood and my partner was getting rid of records so that's why I started using vinyl records and I was very obsessed with circles for some reason. So I experimented to see how things glued down, if it worked, if it looked good, if it didn't. And it worked well. Um, I challenged myself with a lot of layering and adding some mixed media elements into it. Um, this piece in particular is my ode to electronic music and techno. That's been a big part of my life and DJing, so also kind of like the element with using vinyl records. Um, that was important to express at that time. This one is more of my spiritual side, like diving deeper into yourself and your truth and so yeah there's like trees and roots and she's diving into a shell where it's like the deeper side of yourself you know it's the side that's more concealed to others but you're discovering it for yourself and this piece is newer more recent from 2020 and then you can see the progression between 2015 to 2020 and currently. My work has become a lot more three-dimensional. Um, I just, yeah, it kind of happened organically where I was already layering a lot to kind of create more dimension and in fact, actually adding more dimension <laughs> gave it more life and looks like the work is actually breathing and uh, this piece also came about during a time I was experiencing a big rebirth in my life. I was depressed for a few years and I was coming out of it in this, this piece is called Rhythmic Evolution so it's like we come back around to different patterns of ourselves and each time we hope to elevate and become a better version of ourselves. A piece of artwork could take me anywhere between a couple hours to 40, 50 hours, depending on how intense I want to get with it. Like this piece took me probably on the higher end of like 40 hours, just because it's a lot of tedious work that the viewer may not see, but I tend to cut a lot of things like two to three times because I layer paper on to a cardstock to make it thicker in order to, when I put foam stickers to create that depth, the paper isn't floppy. So a lot of times it's just a lot of recutting and recutting and recutting, and that takes a lot of time. <laughs> and then the gluing as well takes a lot of time. Um, making sure that it's not visible to the viewer and making sure that everything is hidden in the right places takes time as well. I think when creating a new body of work, 
the most surprising thing is that it actually came out of me. <laughs> like, it almost feels like it's an out of body experience. Like I'm just working and working and then once you're gluing things down and then you step back and you look and it's this finished thing. Sometimes I don't even know how it happened, but I, you know, it does. And the other thing is that I get, I think that the other thing that I discovered is that I'm quite anal about everything. Everything needs to be perfect. If I don't like something, I recut it. Uh, I'll go and make more copies of a certain image so that I don't ruin just the first one. I can mess up and cut it, cut it again and that can take maybe four times before I actually think that it's acceptable. So. Uh, showcasing here at Plaza is, it's been a long journey. I actually used to come here when I was 16 years old to take dance classes and I have family members that used to teach art classes here. So it's kind of been a long history to come full circle and get asked to showcase here now that I'm no longer dancing, but have explored a different avenue of myself. And it's been, you know, like a 25 year span of that time. So that's been pretty cool. Artistas para siempre to me means it's, it's very inclusive that kind of ties back into what I was saying about how collage can be a friendly medium to anybody and everybody. And I think you don't have to think of it as something you need to go get training in. You can just allow yourself the time and space to play in whatever it is that calls to you. And this is what calls to me. So I think as long as you continue to push, you will continue to surprise yourself what you're capable of doing.